hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to add the echo reverb effect to the end of a song in premiere pro cc so over here i have this video clip and this audio clip over here and i want to add the reverb to the end of this beat exactly where this video ends so the first thing i'm going to do is to cut out the extended portion of this audio that i no longer need and then i'm going to cut out the section where i want to apply the reverb effect to which is this portion over here if i play this from the beginning you can see that it's just a a video of a couple dancing in a club so this portion here where i want to apply the reverb effect to i'm going to select it right click it and nest it so the next thing i'm going to do is to give it a name i'll call this reverb and hit ok the next thing you need to do is to come over to your effects library over here and search for studio reverb and you're going to find it under the audio effects. Now drag this onto the selected portion here where you're trying to apply the effects to and move over to your effects control tab over here and under studio reverb, you select edit. Now you come over to the decay and move this entirely to 10,000 ms. First of all, you are not allowed to stretch this nested portion. So what you are going to do is to double click on this nested portion, duplicate this to one track underneath, select this new track below and stretch it to the end of the clip and mute it over here. Now you go back to the sequence where you have your nested clip and now you will be able to stretch it. So now if you hit play, You can hear the reverb effect. And that's it guys on how to add the echo and reverb effect to the end of a song in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and see you guys in my next video.